And here come more facts. Oh, oh. Here are 50 amazing facts to blow your mind. Studies show that listening to music while working, studying, or doing anything productive really can improve focus, motivation, and productivity. And the best kind of music that you can listen to to keep your mind energized is actually video game music. In 1973, a short episode of Batman starring Adam West was produced in order to bring attention to unequal pay. As Batman and Robin are tied up next to a ticking bomb, Batgirl, played by Yvonne Craig, bursts in but states that it's too late as she makes less than Robin does and that it's not right according to federal equal pay law. If vending machines keep rejecting your paper money, you can actually repair it by microwaving it for 20 seconds. When it comes out, it will be crisp and unless it's seriously damaged, vending machines will accept it. Just don't actually cook it. Don't be causing no fires. According to multiple studies, being called baby has a positive effect on the female brain. It's been theorized that subconsciously, it's nice knowing that you've got someone supporting you if you decide to act like a baby. Dorito chips can be used as kindling if you need to start a fire, and the oils and seasoning on the spicier flavors actually allow the fire to stay lit longer. It's lit, fam! Fritos and Cheetos have also been proven to be excellent kindling as well. Though they tend to cry an awful lot, newborn babies don't actually shed any tears. This is because they don't have any functional tear ducts until they're between 3 and 12 weeks old. When placed in a pool of water, lemons will usually float while limes will most often sink. Speaking of floating fruit, a whole orange will float, but if you were to cut it into slices, the proportions will sink. It's not just tissues and organs that are made of water, your skeleton is too. In fact, around 31% of your bone mass is H2O. The cuckoo clock in Treiberg, Schronach, Germany is the largest cuckoo clock on the planet. It has a 7.9 meter long pendulum and its cuckoo weighs nearly 150 kilograms. In at least 21 out of the 50 US states, you can buy the meat from a cow bison hybrid. The animal is adequately called a beefalo. Chicago's nickname the Windy City actually has nothing to do with the weather. It actually got its name from people who believed that politicians there were windbags. Human beings are the only creatures whose brains shrink. While the brains of animals such as chimpanzees maintain their size, ours don't. So next time you claim that you're losing your mind, you're right! A chef's toque blanche, the traditional white hat that chefs wear, has 100 folds in it. This is said to represent the fact that there is 100 ways to cook an egg. On the show Mr. Rogers Neighborhood, every time Mr. Rogers fed his fish, he seemed to narrate that he was physically doing it. This was actually due to a letter that he received from a blind five-year-old fan of the show who was worried about the fish and wanted to ensure that they were being cared for. Francois Clemens played the role of Officer Clemens on Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood from 1968 until 1993. He was the first African American to have a recurring role on children's television. When the main water supply for La Paz, Bolivia became polluted with acidic metal-infused runoff from abandoned mines, a team of researchers found an interesting substance to filter it, llama feces. Microbes in the manure neutralized the acids and removed most of the dissolved metals. A study conducted by researchers at the University of Vermont found that people with lighter colored eyes such as blue, green, or gray are most likely to develop a dependency on alcohol. People with blue eyes specifically had the highest rate of alcohol dependence. As disgusting as it may be, while you were in the womb, you swam in and drank your own urine on a regular basis. <laughs> okay, mm -mm, yellow background is too much. Researchers at the University of Utah in Salt Lake City discovered a correlation between how much a person consumed and the size of their utensils. Basically, the bigger the fork, the less you eat. Astronaut and first man to set foot on the moon, Neil Armstrong's application to NASA, arrived a week late. Luckily, he had a friend, Dick Day, who worked at NASA and slipped the late application onto the pile of on time ones. If not for Day, Armstrong would not have gone to the moon. According to a report released in 2013 by Oceana, a conservation group, as many as a third of all fish sold in grocery stores and served in sushi restaurants are not the types consumers think they are. Due to mislabeling, the white tuna that you think you're eating might be king mackerel. During the years of prohibition, moonshiners would make their illegal alcohol in secret places, such as forests or meadows. To avoid being tracked by police, they would wear special footwear called cow shoes 
which left what appeared to be bovine footprints instead of human ones. Nothing going on over here. A survey involving 17,000 participants from 28 developed Western countries revealed that live-in boyfriends do more chores around the house than married men do, and the live-in girlfriends do far fewer chores than married women do. The Waffle House Index is an informal scale that the Federal Emergency Management Agency, or FEMA, uses to state how severe a storm will be. The restaurant Waffle House has a reputation for staying open even in bad weather, so if a storm is labeled the restaurant is closed, it means severe damage is imminent. If you look at the number of times that people were bitten by sharks in a year worldwide and then multiplied it by 10, you'd have roughly the number of people in New York alone that were bitten by other people. <laughs> in the early days of toy company Nerf, their slogan was Nerf throw it indoors, you can't damage lamps or break windows. You can't hurt babies or old people. Neuroscientists at the University of Geneva discovered that napping in a hammock actually delivers a deeper sleep than a night's sleep in your own bed. In April of 1933, while at a dinner party at the White House, then First Lady Eleanor Roosevelt and Amelia Earhart spontaneously snuck away after the main course flew a plane around Washington, D.C., and then returned to the White House to have dessert. According to a Harvard University study conducted in 2011, potato chips cause more weight gain in people than any other food. There are over 400 words people in Scotland use for snow, including snaw, spitters, and flindricken. On May 4th, 2018, 64-year-old Don Gorski ate his 30,000th Big Mac. The Wisconsin resident holds the world record for the most Big Macs consumed by a single person Person, and he claims the sandwiches make up 90 to 95 percent of his daily food intake. He's, he's still alive, huh? Okay, well, we'll see how much longer that lasts. When babies are born, they already have an excellent sense of taste, potentially a better one than adults do, but they can't taste salt until they're around four months old. In a study that took over seven years to complete, researchers in Alberta, Canada discovered that there are at least 3,079 chemical compounds in human urine. Massachusetts Institute of Technology Technology, better known as MIT, sends out acceptance notices on Pi Day, March 14th of each year at Tau time or 6.28 p.m. If you are lucky enough to live as long as the average human being, your heart will beat around 3 billion times. Developed in the 1880s, the sport of bobsledding got its name because early participants used to bob their heads in an attempt to gain speed. Of course, simply bobbing your head doesn't actually make you go faster, but the sport adopted the name anyway. The underside of your hands are called palms because of a Roman tradition in which palm tree leaves were laid in the hands of the winner of contests. Research conducted in 2014 revealed that you're more likely to die on your own birthday than any other day of the year. The likelihood increases if your birthday falls on a weekend. While producing their Black Album, three of the four band members in Metallica divorced their wives. The band claims that this helped give their tracks their moody feeling. Unrealistic hopes or fantasies are often referred to to as pipe dreams. The term comes from the crazy dreams that people reportedly had while smoking opium. A survey of 2,099 hiring managers revealed that the worst color someone can wear to a job interview is orange. They also said that the best colors are blue or black. According to a 20-year-old study, you should spend more money on experiences instead of material possessions. The happiness associated with things fades quickly while experiences become a part of your identity. When you get a tattoo removed, via laser, it's not the laser that takes the ink away. It simply breaks it down so your body flushes it out. It only leaves your body when you go to the bathroom. So if you have some inky business, don't worry, you're not dying. Residents in the town of Dildo, Newfoundland claim it's the happiest place on earth. It's there that they celebrate Dildo Day and their mascot is a fisherman named Captain Dildo. You can't make this stuff up. While filming The Wizard of Oz, then 16-year-old Judy Garland, who played Dorothy, was forced to stick to a diet of black coffee, chicken soup, and 80 cigarettes a day. Sitting for more than three hours a day can shave up to two years off your life expectancy. And if you're watching TV while sitting, you just added another 1.4 years of how much life you lost. After the band Outkast released their song Hey Ya on September 9th, 2003, the tune quickly became a number one hit. 
but one of the song's lyrics, which encouraged listeners to shake it like a Polaroid picture, forced the actual Polaroid company to post a warning, informing photo takers that shaking their self-developing pictures could damage them. Despite this, Polaroid still used the song to revitalize the public's perception of their products. In their lifetime, the average human being creates enough saliva in their mouths to fill two swimming pools. At room temperature, atoms never touch each other, at least in the everyday sense of the word touch. So you're you're not actually touching the chair you're sitting on or the floor beneath you. You're actually floating just a tiny bit above them. Amazing facts, knowledge whale. Oh, oh. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Leave a comment below. Let me know what fact was your favorite. I really like the one about floating there. We're all just kind of zen masters today, aren't we? Okay, that's all for today. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.